Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to talk about Australia Series 5, 11, 12, and 13 of the 13 point sits. The first piece is called uh, Chuzma, and get notifications when someone is tracking you. This piece is one of my favorites on the list. It's called Tweet Compatible, and basically what this piece does is a way to check Tweet Compatibility and Cydia. So even though this even though this piece has not been updated for quite a while, it's been has been updated since March 20th, 2019. Um, it's still an amazing tweak, and it does run August 13. I'm not sure about August 14, but um. You know, it's basically good because even the developer never updates it again. As long as, it's just, as, long as, as long as it supports like you know later firmwares, then that doesn't even matter because as long as it supports like iOS 14 and so on, whatever. Uh, right now, as I, right now, as if it supports iOS 14, that's all that matters because the people actually like kind of make this streak because we the users we mark the packages as working or not working based on what iOS version we have, and that's how this tweak works. So you can see what um, iOS versions is working on. So, you, you know, if it's not working on your iOS version or there's a lot of ports that's not working, then it's not going to work for you. So there's no point in installing it or it could screw up, you know, it could mess up your device. But, you know, if it's marked as working, then, you know, you could install it. So, um, you know, since it works on your device. This is called Doc Etz and basically adds pasteboard, pasteboard shortcuts to your keyboard dock. This is called Primal Folder 2. And basically makes the first icon of, a, of the folder a folder image. This is called Appellancy and basically control your face, your phone with your face. This is called VK again. This is called VK again. And here we go again. This is called EQE and basically um, powerful audio platform sensor to equalizer everywhere. So system running parametric equalizer lays uh, last.fm alternative. So it's like with this tweet, you guys can control like the, um, you know, the bass and like, you know, the, the kind of, the volume for everything. This tweet is called Hide Your Apps. And basically, um, what this tweet does, has annoying or infrequently used applications from your stream board. This tweet is called Classic Dock and brings back uh, iOS 6 dots to iOS 7. This is called Selenium. This is called Selenium and new notifications focus on what matters. This is called Skinny Settings and gives minimal useful and smooth options to make better and more functional your settings application and these nice features. This is called 3D Tools as helpful tools to your 3D touch menu. This is called Wi Fi Carrier. And places the carrier in the status bar with the current Wi-Fi name allows you to send a custom carrier name for when uh, not connected to Wi-Fi. Supports iOS 13 and above. This is called Arch, and basically secure app face touch ID. So it's kind of like a bioprotect alternative. This tree is actually theme card cards and 280. 80 plus icons with card like fade effect. This is called Perfect Grabber. This is called Classic Keyboard Etz Etz and Custom Etz uh, Keyboard uh, Bomb Spacing. This is called Big Bang Etz and you do basically see a bunch of features with your um, paragraphs and your search, navigation. So, a lot of um, cool things you can do with them. Just called Big Bang Ev and set content in your chat, content in browser, edit you Big Bang Ev menu to bang all the words to pieces. This is called B Green 13, it's a custom value percentage style. This is called Color Me Notiz, brings colors to your notifications. This is called CC Modules, uh, tying to that adds third party app modules and utility modules to the iOS control center. And the last piece is called VEZA, and basically with this tweak, brings quick controls right at your disposal. So, pretty cool guys, thank you so much for watching, catch you guys in that next one, like, comment, subscribe, and peace.